Yo, what's up guys here? It is a GTA Pupster here and welcome back to another brand new GTA video. Today's video we're gonna be talking about how Rockstar Games has actually going to break records someday along the line soon and I'm gonna tell you why they're gonna be breaking records and so much more so let's get right into today's video. So yes, that's right. I said records and honestly when I saw this on the GTA forum site I was just like really surprised what is going on here what is happening like I never saw a chart like this so someone on the GTA forum site named Xaled I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong he posted this chart on the GTA forum site and it says days between updates as you can see on your screen right now it has all the updates that were introduced in the GTA 5 online. And basically, you're probably confused on what this chart is showing. Basically, the blue dots are the days between updates. And then the red, of course, is the trend between the days. Now, I'm going to try to break this down for you as good as I know I might make it confusing for you all but I just want to let you know how I'm breaking it down so again it looks like from the first update from the beach bomb update it's from the release of GTA 5 in 2013 it was 35 days until we got the beach bomb update then the following it was 51 days after that till we got the basically the Christmas update then another 19 days after that, or 51 days, until we got the Valentine's update. And then it went from the business, it looks like 70 days, or the business, 19 days from 70 days. And then it took another 35 days for the High Life update to come out. Another 14 days for the Hipster another 49 days for the independence and then only 44 days until the flight school another 77 days till the last team standing update that's if surprise came out like 82 days after heist dlc came out 92 days after that and then ill gotten gains part one came out 28 days Ill-Gotten Games Part 2 then came out another 69 days after that. Free Mode Events came out another 35 days. The Lowriders, 56 days. The the EDC update, 44 days. The January 26th update, I'm not sure what that is, 47 days. The Low Custom Class, 84 days. The Finance and Felony update, another 35 days. Cunning Stunts, 84 days. Bikers, 70 days. Uh, import and export, 91 days. And then uh, after that, another 91 days for the special vehicle. Gun running, 77 days. Smugglers run, 105 days. Doomsday heist, 98 days. SAS, I'm not sure what that is again, 98 days. After hours, 126 days. Arena Wars, 140 days. And then we go up to Casino, which is 20 224 days another from casino heist is 104 days and i'm not going to say that word but again from the last update in december it's been 224 days since we saw an update and that's just unreal guys that rockstar hasn't pushed an update for 124 days 224 days to be exact and I, again, as we know, the whole community is freaking out. But wants to hear something from Rockstar. Again, I want to hear some, something from Rockstar again in the coming weeks when I'm recording this video. So, as you can see, the red trend. Again, the updates, you know, in the past. They were going on a rocky, slightly good trend. And again, I would say from the heist update until basically, I don't know, the after hours update or so, Rockstar has been been going on a great trend for updates so again i don't think rockstar will be going over 300 days i think they would have to you know post something of what's coming out between 224 days from now 
and 300 day mark because again it would just be unreal if rockstar did that I, I, it would just be strange in my opinion uh again i think people would be really putting a complaint straight on rockstar if they went over 300 days and i think it's just impossible for them to do something like that when they are in a gaming you know uh industry and all that so, going, following up on something else that I saw on the GTA Forum site by Rosha, he's another guy on the GTA Forum site speculation thread, and he actually posted a vehicle that actually was left over in the files, and it is called the Detonator Mods, and basically that's just the file name of that. And I don't know, it looks like it's missing. Rockstar just didn't have the time to put it in or just cut it from the update, you know, when I don't know what they were thinking or just didn't want to update it and waiting it for something else. But it looks like that vehicle, it looks like from the name of it and just speculation of it, that it must have Rockstar wanted to post it on the after hours. Now, he also posted some file images of what this uh, vehicle could look like again he posted the, uh, the the skids of it the bonnet uh, he posted the exhaust he posted the side skirts the front skirts and also the rear skirts again we don't have any idea what this vehicle is called in real life and if we do find out what this vehicle uh, you know, it's called in real life and what Rockstar is taking it from. Again, I will be sure to update you on this. So, if we look at it and the car possibly from Rena War update, we could just assume it must be like a type of like real tough, tough car, truck, vehicle, weaponized vehicle. Again, we don't know any of that as of now. And again, I will update you guys if Rosha or anyone updates this to see if they found any more information so again guys if you did enjoy this you know record breaking that rockstar will be breaking soon or might have breaked now it's just really unbelievable that you know someone made a chart on this and it's actually pretty fascinating as well when i read it so again guys if you did enjoy today's video a like rating would be awesome subscribe if you're new to join the gta pupster family my name is pup here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.